Hello everyone. Uh, we always um, see uh, in our channel wildlife and nature. This time we have a nice experience with a baby uh, hawk, um, and he's a Swanson hawk. Um, we found him in a bush uh, with injured wing. Our son find him and uh, we were always in this area. Uh, we have a lot of big trees in this area like um, um, it's, a, it's a prairie land and um, it's uh, surrounded by evergreen trees. Uh, further like big aspen poplar, balsam poplar, beaked hazelnut, white birch, swamp birch, green alder and wild gooseberry like small shrubs and prickly wild rose or wolf willow kind of things but uh, this uh, hawks also always uh, having nests in these big trees like aspens or poplar trees uh, like you know but uh, we see them all the time but this time we saw this baby bird is down I think uh, uh, he must be ran into oh like he was get ill he, he was gone into a branch and uh, in us on his on his flight and he might be um, you know like compact or impact uh, with him with the branch and fall down uh, and injured uh, so however we saw him just came uh, with the help of uh, my family and the wildlife center so according to the wildlife center we handled him very nicely and easily um, and took him home. He, nothing pricked on him, um, just a branch fall on top of him. So I easily took that branch away from him and then uh, we took him uh, home with a, put a towel on him and took him home. And um, he was all right. Uh, after we went home, we fed him with uh, red meat and water, but <laughs> he, was, he already had his meals, now he doesn't want to eat. We, we are sorry we couldn't uh, take that video footage, but we try him uh, good. Def like, he, he, like no, usually they don't eat, that's what, according to the wildlife center, they don't eat, but luckily he had his red meat and the water. And the next day we took him to the uh, wildlife center and uh, wildlife center people treat him very well. They treat him very well and then, oh, he was cured and then he would, we would took him back to uh, the where, where he was found. And, um, and he's, still his wing is not stable that much, one wing, but um, he's already he's hunting by himself. He's very active and he's friendly with us. He always come from somewhere. He fly from somewhere when we reach that area. And sit down and watch us for a little bit, but don't come so near to us. However, our son, our son uh, named him Victor. So Victor is our friend right now. He's always uh, come around and stay. And then he fly away and uh, we also enjoy this. And we are very happy and glad. Uh, fortunately, we can help this beautiful bird. And uh, our son was very, he's the one who found her, so he's uh, very glad and happy and uh, he's a very big wildlife lover too. And we all uh, like to see him very nice and active and um, yeah, he's, uh, he's around and he's, you know, and he's, um, he's uh, now doing himself everything. And this area is full of uh, swans and hawks and um, in some of the rough legged like hawks and a uh, lot of uh, mammals and porcupines and um, you can see a lot of songbirds and uh, prairie chickens, uh, uh, grouse, uh, pheasants um, and all kind of uh, beautiful birds. Um, when you have a chance please come to the prairie land and uh, have a nice time in this area and uh, very nice nature a lot of ducks uh, and you can see a lot of uh, waterfalls and um, owls um, and it's it's very nice thank you so much for watching this and um, i think hopefully you enjoy this beautiful event thank you so much for watching we will meet you again have a good day bye